What's up guys, it's Alex here, your friendly reef dog. And today I'm gonna to show you four aquarium gadgets that you don't need, but you might find quite useful. Now, if this is your first time here and you want weekly reefing goodness, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Now there's links to all this stuff in the description. Let's get stuck in. First up is the ITC test vial stirrer. Testing parameters like calcium and magnesium usually involves a painstaking titration process. You have to add one milliliter of reagent to your water sample, drop by drop, making sure you give the sample vial a little shake in between each drop. And if you're as clumsy as I am, you'll end up accidentally landing a drop of reagent halfway up the test vial, then tilting the vial at an angle to absorb the reagent back into the sample. Admittedly a first world problem, but irritating nonetheless. But for £25, this little stirrer takes away most of the hassle. It keeps the sample constantly moving, meaning you can add drops much more quickly. And because you're not holding the sample vial in your hand, it also makes it easier to see when the colour changes. Next up is digital calibration scales. Calibrating your dosing pump is usually done by way of a graduated cylinder but most dosing pumps are accurate to 0.1 milliliter, which you won't be able to read on a graduated cylinder unless you have Superman eyesight. But a set of high precision digital scales can read to that level of accuracy. 100 milliliters of fresh water weighs 100 grams, so if your dosing head dispenses 40 grams of water, you just enter 40 milliliters into the calibration section of your doser's app. To demonstrate what I mean, have a look at this graduated cylinder and guess what level you think it is. And now you've made your guess, let's have a look at the scales and see if you were right. No cheating now, be honest. Next up is a photo booth for your corals. Whether you want to sell frags or just show them off in photos, this little 3D printed photo booth holds your corals at an angle, which makes them easy to see, and presents them against a black background so the coral really pops. It's magnetic and holds firm on my 15mm glass, and a well taken photo of a frag will make it more saleable, so this thing will pay for itself. It comes in black or white, and in sizes to hold from 3 to 6 frags. And my 5 frag unit cost me £29 from Reef Parts in the UK. Now strictly speaking it's not a gadget, but it makes this list because it's just so cool. And finally we have the Hanna Salinity Checker. I wouldn't mind betting more than 90% of you currently watching test your salinity with a refractometer. I have done for the last 5 years, and I absolutely hate the things. I've always found it difficult to see an exact reading, and usually have to settle for a rounded number like 1.025 or 1.026. Now that probably doesn't really matter, and I don't think any of my tanks will have suffered as a result, as long as salinity is stable, it doesn't really matter if it's 1.025 or halfway between 1.025 and 1.026. But my OCD demands accuracy, and this will give you an exact figure. Because it's made by Hannah, I feel like I can trust it, which isn't the case with other salinity pens I've seen at this kind of price point. It costs around £80, which is actually pretty good value for a digital salinity tester. The only thing I'll say against it is that it does lose accuracy if you don't calibrate it regularly, and it requires a quick bath in RO water, followed by a quick dry off after every use. So it's not as quick to use as a refractometer, but for me, that's a small price to pay for a more accurate reading. So there you have it then, four aquarium gadgets that are firmly in the want not need column. Now my personal favourites are the digital calibration scales and the magnetic test stirrer. But I'd love to know what yours are, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next week. And until next time, happy reefing.